For more information on the 2019 January Pantry Challenge, see the link to the Sutton Stays channel in the information below. This is a video response to the January Pantry Challenge. Today I am making chicken barley soup with ingredients from my pantry. A number of these ingredients I either canned or dehydrated. So let's get started with the ingredients. I will be using chicken broth. I canned this chicken broth November 2017. I'm also using home canned drumsticks. I canned this June 2017. And for your interest, this is the Bernardin pint and a half size jar. I'll also be using dehydrated carrots. Dehydrated celery. With regards to the celery and carrots, I don't expect the celery and carrots to fully rehydrate as they do when I process them in my instant pot when I'm doing broth, okay? But I might cook these a little longer than any other ingredient on this counter. So I have pepper, pink salt, parsley, barley, thyme, grapeseed oil, garlic, and an onion. Let's get started preparing this soup. Wishing I had an overhead camera to give you a better view. Let's chop the garlic. I do like a lot of garlic. Maybe uh, more than many people or less than some, I'm not sure. This garlic, as you saw, is previously peeled and I keep it in the freezer. Let's add the onions and the garlic to the oil. I'm just gonna saute this for a few minutes, but in the meantime, I'm going to open up my jars of chicken broth. Oh, this is turkey broth. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> so I have one turkey broth and two chicken broth. And there's more in the pantry if I need it. I wish you didn't have to look at the stains on the bottom of my cast iron pan. But this is not Hollywood, nor is it the Food Network. I'm now going to add my turkey broth. Chicken broth. And more chicken broth. What I'm going to do now is add the dehydrated vegetables. A quarter cup of celery, a quarter cup of carrots. What I'm going to do with this is bring it to a boil and let it simmer. I'm doing this because I want to rehydrate these vegetables to the best of my ability. I will be putting the barley in in a little while. I'm now gonna add a half a cup of barley. A half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of parsley, 
And remember, spices are to your taste, okay? What works for me may not work for you, okay? So keep that in mind. A half a teaspoon of thyme and cracked pepper. For lack of having any free-flowing pepper on hand. There, let's give it a stir. And I'm going to turn this down and cover it. I'll bring you back when I'm putting the chicken in. Because it's cooked, it's going to go in last. I'm adding more turkey broth. I'm going to take off the meat and drop it in the pot. Now the bones are going to be really soft, so I need to be careful I'm not dropping bones in the pot. I'm also being careful not to put the skin in. But my main concern is the bones. Just dip my hands in. There, that's better. Who needs a fork? Okay, I'm just gonna go through what I have left on the plate to get any meat out. I'm gonna give this a stir, cover it up, and heat it up because I really don't have to cook the chicken. I just need to heat it up. I'll bring you back when I serve it up and give it a taste. Let's serve up some soup. Let's take a look at the soup. I'll find a carrot. So that is the extent of its rehydration. I'm okay with that. Some celery right there. There we go. It is a little brown, but that's okay. And the chicken. Let's taste it now. This is really good. Now that all of that is packed away, I can sit down and enjoy my soup. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to leave a link to the Sutton's Days channel in the information below. Lisa at Sutton's Days is hosting the January Pantry Challenge.